If you've decided to enable comments on your WordPress website, you'll definitely need to set up proper measures to moderate them. Here are some basic guidelines you may want to keep in mind. Number one, keep things civil by weeding out blatantly offensive comments. The first thing you need to do as a moderator is to remove any comments that are outright insulting or derogatory. One thing you could do to make your job easier is to display a message before your comment section so users know exactly what's allowed and what's not. If you want to take things a step further, you could also set up a blacklist to filter out offensive language automatically. WordPress enables you to do so out of the box. Simply navigate to settings, discussion, and then scroll down to comment blacklist section and enter any terms you want to automatically filter out, then just save your changes. It's wise though to be selective here so that you don't accidentally send valuable comments to the trash. Number two, be fair and avoid censorship. You can moderate comments any way you see fit on your website. If you wanna prevent users from sharing their opinions, you could do it. However, that's a slippery slope that may anger your user base and ultimately backfire on you. There can and will be disagreements in your comment section However, as long as the discussion remains civil, it's really not advisable to remove anyone's comments or prevent them from being published. That includes opinions that may not perfectly align with your own. For example, if you misquote a statistic and a reader corrects you, thanking them for their help can be far more effective than snapping back at them or even deleting the comment and covering up the error. Not only does acknowledging your mistake make you seem more authentic, but the commenter will feel as if they've made a valuable contribution to your site. Number three, only allow links if they're accompanied by thoughtful comments. There's a common black hat SEO tactic that involves leaving links in other sites comment sections. If you've ever run a blog, you know it happens all the time. In some cases, the commenters won't even make an effort to hide the fact that they're spamming your posts. However, sometimes you'll also get a thoughtful comment that contributes to the conversation taking place, which happens to also include a link. As long as that source provides value to other visitors, there's no real reason to remove it. Let's say, for example, you're talking about social media marketing podcasts and our top picks. It's only logical that if you know of a podcast that might also interest us and other readers, you'd post a link to it in the comments section. So instead of missing out on potentially valuable comments, you may want to simply set up some extra guidelines for posts with links in them to filter out spam. In WordPress's discussion settings, you can actually do so by holding submissions containing a certain number of links for manual approval by an admin. To play it safe, we also recommend requiring that links in your comment section be no follow. That way, commenters won't be able to abuse their privileges for their own SEO purposes. All the strategies we've talked about so far go a long way towards improving your WordPress comment section. However, we haven't talked at all about changing the system to better serve your readers. As with most other features, you can completely overhaul the native WordPress comment section using plugins. One of our favorites is called WP Discuss. It adds several interesting features, including comment sorting, adding load more comment buttons, subscriptions, and many more. You can also integrate third-party comment systems into WordPress, such as Discuss. With Discuss, users can upvote or downvote comments, use emojis and insert pictures, and it also provides access to more advanced moderation tools. If you want to read more about alternatives to the default WordPress comment system, check out the article linked in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.